All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, I would like to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, pretty much the title of this video, all right, is going to be wisdom should be the forefront of your actions. Okay, and pretty much through the spirit, I was watching the, the elder brother from Dallas, Yashawamba, and um, he made that statement, you know, in his, uh, you know, the last couple videos he's done. I think it was entitled uh, wisdom will try you. So beware, you know, something to that extent. And when he made that statement, let wisdom be the forefront of your actions. I immediately said, that's a that's a lesson right there. That's a title to a video, you know, so it was inspiring to hear that. And I thought that, you know, I would do a lesson on that very topic, because at the end of the day, that's exactly what you have to do when you're in this walk. You have to let wisdom be the, the knowledge and wisdom be the forefront of your actions. You know, sometimes you may want to react in the flesh, but you have to move with wisdom and understanding because us brothers in this truth, we can't move with, you know, the same actions as the people in the world move. We can't react to, to certain situations, how people in the world react. You know, we have to think, how would you, how would shy move? You know, we have to think, how would a spiritual man move? All right. How would a man of the Lord move? Because we can't just go throughout the earth behaving and moving however we want to, you know? So you, we have to think about these things and in, in, in every single action that you take. You have to move with wisdom, man. You can't be out here just moving carnally, moving, moving foolish. All right, because you in the flesh. All right. So let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter four and verse five. Hey, you may hear the birds. <laughs> it's an early morning lesson. Uh, Proverbs four and five. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither incline, neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee and this is speaking about wisdom okay because as the scriptures say wisdom will try you man all right before she knows that she can dwell in you you will be tried okay so if you you know forget not wisdom and decline not you know from the words of the lord's mouth and forsake not the wisdom of yahweh bashmi al shai then you're going to you're going to be straight. OK, that's why it says in verse six, it says forsake her not and she will and she shall preserve thee, love her and she shall keep thee. Verse seven, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. OK, because you have some people, they may have the wisdom, but they're not applying it to their daily lives. They're not applying it to themselves. They'll tell other brothers to do something, but they're not really, they're not doing it, you know? So you have to apply this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to your daily life. Excuse me, okay? You can't just be out there telling brothers, well, you got to do this and you got to do that, and you're not doing it yourself. That's another point that the brother, um, elder brother was making, okay? It says, exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the ways of wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold on instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. And that's Sophia, man. So when you're moving through the earth with the, with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord, you're going to be straight. You're going to be protected. You're going to have a hedge over you. You know, you're not going to react uh, carnally in certain situations. You're going to have the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai over you, man. 
And that's a beautiful feeling to have. Knowing that you uh, can be in control of your spirit. The scriptures speak about individuals not being in control of their spirit, man. So wisdom should be the forefront of our actions, man. You have to think, what would a, how would a spiritual man think? What would a spiritual man do? You know? Now, what I was doing was uh, going through some, getting some precepts, some simple precepts. Okay. It's very simple. Okay. And then precepts will come up concerning what? Wisdom. All right. So let's read a few of them. This is James 1 and 5. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, because wisdom is what's supposed to be the forefront of our knowledge. And sometimes you may be going through a rough patch, man. You got to pray to the Lord. If any of you lack wisdom, James 1 and 5. Let him ask of Yahweh that he giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and he and it shall be given him. So sometimes you could be going through a situation and Yahweh Bashmiah, you may need uh, guidance or prayer, you know, or guidance, shall I say, and the Lord will, will answer your prayers and, and, you know, give you the, the, the right direction to move. You know, if you lack in wisdom in certain areas, man. That's why we got the Lord. You're supposed to cast our burdens on Yahweh by Shimei All right. Remember, brothers, I'll say it again. We can't just be moving through the earth, doing what we want to do, acting how we want to act. We're men of the Lord, man. Okay. So we have to move a certain type of way. You have to. James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable gentle and easy to be entreated full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy it's pure all right it's pure man the knowledge wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Shemiah is pure and this is the greatest wisdom that that can be given this 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 was given from the heavens man this 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 knowledge that we have was sent from the heavens the proof of that is every every Israelite man, every Israelite can they can't get it. it. Was proved that it was given from the heavens. The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Lord willing, were those men? Okay, Proverbs three and thirteen it says, "Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. <clears throat> For the merchants of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold." So the real money, the real silver and the real gold is this knowledge. And that's why when you allow it to be the forefront of your actions, you will be successful. You will succeed. And that doesn't mean you're going to have a million dollars in this life. That means you're going to succeed and be successful in the spirit, man, because that's ultimately where you want to grow. OK, she is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire. And are not to be compared unto her. So nothing is to be compared to the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the, the Heavenly Father and His Son. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are salakia. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. So is the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High is, is, is a tree of life, man. Length of days. That's why it says, uh, um, for the fear of the Lord is what? The fountain of life. All right. So you can't, you know, you can't beat it, man. Ultimately, you can't beat it. It's a beautiful thing to have. Let's go back. Um, let's see I'm just kind of going through these To see which ones we want to get There's a lot more 
because they're, they're not, ultimately there's a balance to it as well, you know. Proverbs 18 and 15, the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. So we're supposed to be prudent, you know. Be wise in thy latter end, man. Okay. And a lot of, you got, you know, brothers in this truth. You can't allow, you know, the the uh, the ways of this world to get you out of character. You know, you can't you can't do that. Proverbs sixteen and sixteen. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? You gotta think. A lot of people in this world they worship money. But they'll cast the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High behind their backs. <laughs> you know? Proverbs 19 and 8. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. And a lot of the scriptures on wisdom is in the book of Proverbs. You know, Psalms, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach. That's where you get those precepts. Okay. Proverbs 8 and 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is what? Humility. Okay. So, yeah, man, wisdom should be the forefront of your actions at all times all right so lord willing that was edifying um you know just a simple lesson something quick but lord willing it can feed your spirit i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakakwadash double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that taught us this truth through the holy spirit peace and blessings and salutations to the lord's elect and lord willing you brothers and sisters were edified shalom